Yeah. Yeah. Press it. No, no, press it. I can't explain now, but it's important, dude. Look. 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 The camera can't see, but can you see now? Kinda, it's bright. Pitch blackness. Dude, turn your screen brightness down. <laughs> Who's that? It's Liza! Liza's back! My camera fell down and it coincidentally like <laughs> fell and the tripod fell in between two seats so like it caught itself from falling straight on the ground and luckily even if it would have fallen on the ground it probably would have hit like the the fluffy um speaker thing on top but that was scary for a second actually kind of scary. <sighs> Don't want to... Oh, it's bright now. Ah! Can't see myself. Worst thing that could possibly happen right now is I trip and fall with this camera. So the goal is to not do that. I've officially done it. I have reached full Casey Neistat mode. I got the board, I got the camera. It's all on point. So the topic of today's video is something that I've actually been wanting to talk about for a while. So here it goes. So, I think the biggest thing that really prevents people from ever uploading a video is the fact that they think they need a good camera. Um, I was talking to someone the other day who was telling me that she wants to start making YouTube videos, but she just sold her camera and so now she doesn't really know how she'd start. And so, I think a lot of people do this and so I decided I want to make a video explaining what the best camera is for you to use and how you can really start off getting into YouTube when you're really on a budget and you really think you don't have the equipment. Because surprisingly, most people, if nearly everybody actually has everything you need to start making really good YouTube videos and you just are kind of stuck in the wrong mindset. So a lot of people are always, I, me personally even has looked up, what's the best camera to start YouTubing? Or what's the best camera to use when you want to make a YouTube video or start a channel. And a lot of people, they see these people using these Canon 70Ds, Canon 80Ds, or just thousand dollar DSLRs. They have all these equipment. They've got the Canon mic on top and just these Joby Gorilla Pods or they have all this equipment, these lights, all this setup, thousands of dollars of equipment. And they think, I can't make good videos because I don't have all this equipment. And then they go out and they buy like this $500 camera and they start making videos and it just, isn't as easy as they think and then their videos don't come out the way they want them and they just don't want to make them anymore and it's kind of discouraging to spend so much money and think you never have everything you need. You're just thinking about it all wrong and there's lots of videos out here like this explaining all these different cameras and it's just trying to find the right one. It's just really hard and so this video might be a surprise but I'm going to tell you what the best camera is and then I'm going to explain to you why this is the best camera you could possibly have for making YouTube videos, especially vlogs. It's your phone. Your phone is the number one, 
this could be argued, but I'll explain why your phone is the best camera you can possibly use for any kind of vlog, YouTube video of any kind. This is the number one, number one best video camera you possibly have. Right now is a great time for people in the comments to be arguing, but you're using a DSLR, and it's true. Right now, I'm using a Joby Gorilla Pod on a Canon 70D with a, with a Canon 10 18 millimeter lens. It's got this great scope, it's got this great view, and yeah, it, it is. I do have about $1,000 on here. I'm using a mic and everything, but I haven't always started that way. My first video, I actually used a GoPro. A GoPro, of all things, it had horrible audio, horrible video and it just it, it was bad but that was all I had at the time um, I think I had a phone then I don't remember but I, I didn't think of make, using it to make videos on and it, it, it was bad guys it was it was really really bad when I started getting more involved in the making videos and stuff I actually did some research and decided to buy an official camera that I decided I was gonna use for pretty much every single video that I made. I did my research and I decided to buy a Canon, um, what was it actually? I don't remember. The first camera I was using for filming after I stopped using my GoPro was a PowerShot L300HS. I think I got it for $90 on Amazon. They're fairly cheap, and it was actually a pretty decent camera for a while. It was easy to use, point and shoot. You just turn it on like that, and then you just start recording like this. Except for it doesn't have a memory card in it, so I can't record, psych. But this was what I'd use. I'd stick it on a selfie stick, and i just hold it out, and then it was just easy to use. I stopped using it at one point because I came out with this video where my family and I went out on a boat. I filmed using this camera, and when I went back over editing it, I noticed that half the time all you could hear was wind. I got a little like muffle to put on the mic so you could hopefully muffle the wind a bit more, but I found out I got the wrong one and it didn't really work. It, you could hear, hardly hear anything and I noticed that that was a trend in most of my videos so if I tried to film myself like running or anything with noise, it was just really bad audio. So I just wanted to increase my video quality. So I started doing research and trying to figure out what was best and I started looking at more expensive cameras and possible upgrades and I really wanted to get a nice camera so I could get that high quality vlog that I was looking for. I'd be lying if I told you I remember when I made this decision but I remember at one point I just started using my phone to make videos on. Um, it wasn't necessarily my main camera. I wanted to use my DSLR I had at the time and I wanted to use a lot of other cameras too. I still felt like it was best if I actually had a high quality camera to make videos on but at the time I didn't, so I would just use my phone. But the mistake I made was thinking that I needed a bunch of equipment to actually use my phone. I have this little like Gorilla Pod, a smaller one. I also use my larger Joby Gorilla Pod that my camera's sitting on right now. I've been using this lately. It's really good for like suctioning onto different things and stuff, but I bought this thing on Amazon specifically so I could start using it as my main platform for filming. The way it works is it unfolds like this, you unscrew the top here, you just stick your phone in. The really neat thing about this is it's got a slot on top so I can actually hook up my little Canon mic onto it. And then it's got a screw thing on the bottom so I can just screw in my Joby Gorilla Pod. Perfect filming for vlogs. You just hold it like that. I'd have a nice mic on top so I'd get the good audio. I've got the good camera. And this was my temporary setup and I actually plan on using it as my main setup for the longest time. The problem with having all that fancy stuff, it isn't so much that it's a problem. In fact, it's great. Um, I started using this mic that, see if I can just take it off to show you. Sorry if the audio gets weird. This little fuzzy thing right here was my main mic for the longest time. I would just stick this on my phone. It's small, it's easy to move around. And it just gets pretty decent audio. It's a lot better than most audio you would get and it helped cut out wind noise and different things because it's got that fuzz ball on top. So that was really convenient for using on my phone. The problem I ran into though was I didn't always have this equipment on me. Anytime I planned on filming, I would usually bring it with me. But for example, I went on vacation 
and I brought all this equipment with me in my backpack, but then we'd go to eat somewhere or something, and I'd wanna film, and I didn't have my equipment. I didn't have my mic, I didn't have my pod, I didn't know how to keep the camera still without all this stuff. And I was constantly feeling like if I didn't have my equipment, I couldn't film a video. So I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't film the videos because I didn't have my gear. I didn't have, even though I still had my phone with me, I didn't have all the fancy gear to carry all of it. So I just wouldn't bother filming in the first place. And I think that's the biggest mistake you can run into, especially if you have a second camera that you feel like you need to use that camera to make a video. It's just never gonna get made. The best part about having, using your phone for vlogging is you always have your phone on you. Like honestly, tell me, can you even leave the house without your phone? You always have it on you. And it made sense like 10 years ago if you wanted to make YouTube videos that you'd need to buy a camera because back then you either had a flip phone or they just came out with the blueberry. If you don't know what that is, it's, it was, the, or was it the Blackberry? I don't know, the Berry phone, the first smartphone. But back then the cameras on the phones weren't that great. Uh, getting a cheap point and shoot made sense because the point and shoots were probably the best camera you could get, spend a few hundred dollars so you can at least get a half decent video. That's not the case anymore. iPhone just came out with a phone that has like three lenses. This is the Note 9. It's a pretty nice camera and I know some of you don't have that nice of a camera but still I'd have to say the majority of you who have a phone it's at least no older than five years old and those phones are still going to have a better picture and audio than you're gonna get from like my 300 HS or it's gonna be so similar that it's almost not even a point especially if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend a hundred dollars this is a hundred dollar camera in used condition but there's a good chance that your phone is still gonna have better picture and even if it doesn't you're not usually gonna carry this around everywhere you're gonna carry it around like when you remember it and then when you forget it at home, you're just not gonna film and you're not gonna publish videos. I started realizing that I wasn't uploading videos at one point and I wanted to start making videos again and so the best thing I discovered for me was to just hold my phone like this, like taking a video any other day. I would stick it out like this. Oops. I'd stick it out like this, you s turn it on, you swipe to get that video, and boom, I could record just right now. It's not even that bad. I'm holding it with my hand like I'm doing any other thing. And you can just get up, walk around like this, and obviously it's not as good as my DSLR. I'm holding it with my hand, but the picture's great. I'm walking around outside. The audio isn't amazing, but it's not much worse. So then you get this really decent shot, honestly, and this is enough to make a really good video on. I've been making these videos like this for quite a while and I might still use this main, my phone as one of my main cameras because I'm not always gonna have that giant thing back there. Sometimes I'm gonna be walking around downtown and I'm gonna wanna shoot something and I won't have that camera. I think it was said best by Casey Neistat in one of his videos that the best camera to, you can use is the camera you have on hand or something like that. The point is, is you don't need a good camera to make good videos. You just need to make videos. A lot of YouTubers that you know started off making horrible videos. I don't know what kind of camera they use, but it doesn't really matter what kind of camera you use. If you can't make a good video with a bad camera, you can't make a good video with a good camera. It's not all about how it looks that interests people. It's what you do. There's people on YouTube even now who if you pay attention to their videos, the quality isn't that great, but it's not about the quality, it's about the content. Your quality will improve as you go on, but if you already don't make good content, the quality won't matter. My HBO show, which is one of the biggest successes in like my mainstream movie career, was shot on this camera. This is even high def. This is shooting on tape. This is the video camera your parents used to film you on for your like third birthday. People don't want to look at a good image just forever they want the content so if you're not uploading regularly and I know this sounds a little hypocritical for me to say but it, honestly it's true though if you're not uploading and you're not making videos people aren't gonna watch your channel so I feel like this video is gonna be a lot longer than I wanted it to be but the point is if you really want to make good videos the best way for you to start is today tomorrow whenever you have the right time and the best camera for you to use is your phone there's no excuse to not be uploading videos and if you want to grow your channel in the future that's great you can you can always make investments on better equipment but if you can't even make a decent video with your phone right now you're not going to make a decent video with a $1,000 camera with a $500 mic and all this really expensive equipment maybe $500 is a little much for a mic 
but you can honestly make some amazing videos right now on your phone. There's not really a really good excuse for you. And then not to mention, there's plenty of equipment out there cheap. You can spend 20 bucks at Walmart and get one of these things with a, with a holder on it and just, it's really easy to get all this equipment for your phone. The mics on it are pretty decent and it's got pretty much everything you need. So if you really wanna start making videos, just try using your phone. There's a lot of free editing softwares out there and all you really need to, need to know how to do is crop and stuff. I started making my first videos on Windows Movie Maker. Eventually I got tired of it and ended up buying Filmora, which is the platform I'm still using. Eventually I'd like to upgrade, but there's a lot of really good free softwares out there. And if you end up enjoying it more than you expect, you can always improve from there. Just don't spend all this money and then expect for your videos to be amazing. It's gonna take some work, it's gonna take some progress, and eventually you'll grow and improve your quality. If you go look at my first video, it's awful. If you look at this one now, eh, it's, it's getting better. <laughs> it's, but honestly. I just wanted to do a quick video showing this is the image from my PowerShot Elf 300HS. This is the camera I was using for a while that I talked about. So this is the shot and, I should probably move my finger, this is the shot and the audio you would get from this camera and I'm just held, holding it handheld. And then this is the shot and audio from my phone holding it exactly the same. This is my phone versus the $100 Canon ELF 300HS. And then I hope that gives you a little bit of an aspect of the point I'm trying to make here. I hope this video helped you kind of look at it a little differently because this is just a lot of things that I learned and I want to be able to share it with you guys because we're all trying to figure it out. None of us are perfect and everyone needs to start somewhere. So if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe if you'd like. I will be posting more often, hopefully, and um, yeah, have a good day, guys.